Big news and events for Ripple Labs and XRP. In fact, one of these events is gonna be happening in less than 36 hours of the launch of this video. And Charles Hoskinson comes out, nope, not to rip on XRP holders, but to do something else. We're gonna get into that. Can you hear the music building? Yep, another firm has shut its doors. Let's leave this screen and go into this one. We've got the price of XRP up on the screen. Let's look at some candlesticks. Right now, in the near term, the highest we've seen has been 55.2, but definite retracement. A second attempt to break through the 50s yet again, stopped at a high of 54.1. We can see a downtrend since that movement, and we've got a big date coming up in 36 hours, and an even bigger date coming up in one week, everyone. So let's bump on over to the heat map. There we go. XRP sitting at 45.7 cents down, almost 3% last 24 hours. Bitcoin has been floating sideways, 19,000. Something big is going to happen. When Bitcoin just sits there and floats sideways, it is preparing for a breakout either to the positive or the negative. Ethereum, same thing, floating around at 1312. Nothing is moving the action, and we're going to get into later in this video what's going to cause these prices to move. But first, yep, another one bites the dust. They stole my tagline, everyone, that I used used a few weeks ago. Local Crypto's peer-to-peer -peer exchange is closing its doors. Yes, this is on their fifth birthday, everyone. The exchange launched on October 21st, 2017, and within five years had around 400,000 users. Well, everyone, it's solely focused on Ethereum and then moved over for trading to Bitcoin. But guess what? Because of the current market conditions, it is now closing its doors. So the Crypto Winners Graphs takes yet another company five years down the tubes. And this one is local cryptos, everyone. Whoa, Charles up on the screen, my man. Charles, how are you doing? Cardano founder says something special is coming in November. Look, let's make a bet right now. Let's bet that come December 1st, you and I, we all hang out and we'll sit here and we'll do a video and we'll go, hey, do you remember when Charles said that Cardano was gonna do something special in November? I'll put big money on it. That come December 1st, we're all hanging out. We're not gonna know what the hell that something special was. Unfortunately, Charles and a lot of the other cryptos out there have been over-promising and under-delivering and I'm thinking we're gonna see the same. All this dude wants right now and all that he's been trying to do is get his face and the product out in the public, which there's nothing wrong with that because I think some of us would like some of our favorite companies to do the same thing. Ahem, ahem. But Charles is out there. I don't think people are believing it because even with the Basil hard fork, Cardano's price has been down, down, down. The enthusiasm has not been there. So yep, he can come out, he can talk to BitBoy and all that and say, hey, I've got something special coming. No one cares because the five, six, 10, 20 times before that, you said the same thing. Cardano's gonna revolutionize something. This project's gonna do this. None of it has done any of it because if we all look back now, what has the Vasil hard fork even done? And now we move on to the events this week that are gonna shape crypto, and we're gonna focus on XRP in this one. This week in markets, the US recession risk hits 100% as crypto token omics are highlighted. All right, I've got the juicy date for you, and you're like, well, wait a minute, what's going on? Well, in a week from now, the biggest thing that affects crypto will be happening. The near unanimous expectation for the Fed's November 1st and 2nd, pay attention to those dates, because on the 2nd is when they release it, policy meeting is that a Another big interest rate hike will be approved right now. The market expectation is at 75 basis points. We do have a few reports though coming up this week, which, hey, if you wanna look at them, I'm gonna have them linked. Why? Because as always, any article you see in this video will be linked in the description below. One of the ones I'm looking for is gonna be initial jobless claims and continuing jobless claims. That's gonna be happening on Thursday, October 27th at 8.30 a.m. Eastern time. Look for that being the next big thing, because remember, inflation goes up, Fed raises rates. When the Fed raises rates, cost businesses more money to do business. So what do they do? They let go of people, which means, yep, job offerings go down and unemployment goes up. So start paying attention to these macroeconomic events. But back on this, yep, more hawkishness from the Fed may not pretend positive price action for cryptocurrency investors, but blocks will continue to be produced, blah, 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 they're referring to Bitcoin. Now we've seen the last two rate hikes, right? XRP, XM, the other cryptos have definitely separated from the likes of Bitcoin and Ethereum. But after the last announcement of CPI data, the XRP price really started retracing coming back together with Bitcoin and Ethereum. 
But now on to this. So Klaus, what's that big thing that's happening 36 hours from the release of this video? And that's why you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss out on this juicy action. Ripple versus the SEC. XRP holder support felt with three thousand affidavits submitted again you tell me out there a case that we have been dealing with where we have had over three thousand affidavits seventy five thousand people joining a class action lawsuit against the government for their overreach and over regulation regarding xrp here we go john deaton feel proud your voices are being heard and they call it exhibit 167 is broken into 26 parts yes it is sealed but when you have a massive exhibit with hundreds of thousands of pages the system can't handle it it looks like we've got three 3,000 affidavits submitted by XRP holders. Hey, big date, if you stuck around to this point, let me know in the comments below. Here's your big date. October 24th remains a big reveal date as Ripple and the SEC are expected to file publicly redacted versions of the opposition briefs. Opposition to the summary judgments. Hey, what do they have problems with with the most recently submitted summary judgment stuff, all right? So opposition briefs are gonna tell us what their points are that they're gonna fight. Now, there will be redactions in there. Then what they're gonna do is they're gonna have a movement to work and get around the redactions, see what they can unredact, blah, 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 blah. But the big date, October 24th, we will be looking to see what the oppositions are to summary judgment because a lot of people are looking at summary judgment going, hey, we get it. We know you're not gonna settle, but can there be some small like little things that we can agree on as we go forward in this case? So yes, a firm celebrated its fifth birthday by shutting down its doors amidst the crypto winter. We're gonna have a lot more of that to come. In fact, I think we're gonna see even more of it coming as interest rate hikes start going up, up, and up, squeezing the consumer side of the market. That is gonna be a lot less extra capital being able to flow into these crypto exchanges and flow into these crypto projects, causing more places to close their doors. And Charles out there saying, hey, I've got something special for you doubt it. December 1st, let's hang out again and let's talk about how we don't even remember what the hell Cardano did in the month of November. And Ripple Labs XRP, a few big dates coming up. Remember, we've got the Fed's rate hike coming up, which has been the biggest price factor for XRP here recently and the rest of cryptos. We've got that coming up in a week and we've got in less than 36 hours opposition to summary judgment being filed publicly. Ooh, going to be juicy info to share with you when that comes out. Thank you very much for watching. Learn more right here. I'll catch y'all later. Enjoy your football Sunday. If you watch this on Monday, shame, 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 hit that bell and notifications. Get notified when new stuff happens. See y'all later.